Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be previewing game week one of the Champions League group stage. Um, I'm going to chat about all the teams about in, great in game week one, should I say. Uh, yeah, going over the groups and who, who I think will be coming out on top on game week one of the Champions League group stage. Right then guys, here we go then. Kicking off with group A, we've got Ajax taking on Rangers at Ajax. Um, um, this will be, I don't know what time it is, is that quarter to... Yeah, I think that's quarter to six a kickoff. Bit of an interesting kickoff time. Um, so yeah, um, Ajax taking on Rangers. Um, for me, it could be a tricky game this one. Um, I sort of think Rangers will be on a bit of a buzz. You know, being in the group stage for the first time in a while. Um, Ajax not the strongest. They just sold Anthony and things like that. Um, for me, I'm going to go with a draw for this one. I think um, I'm going to go one one. Um, I think Ajax will get a goal, and I think Rangers might be hanging on a bit. I think, I think they'll set the lead, Rangers, and then sort of hang on to the game. Um, and then I think Ajax will get an equaliser, but not quite get the win. And yeah, for me, I'm gonna go one-one for this one. Um, Ajax to get a point. Next up in the group, we've got Napoli taking on Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool struggling at the moment in the league. You know, they you can't sort of get that run together um, to catch up the likes of City and Arsenal at the moment. Uh, Napoli, they're notoriously good at home in the Champions League groups, um, especially against the English sides. Um, so yeah, you saw a tough game to predict this one on the opening week. Um, and to be honest, I'm going to go over Napoli win. <laughs> I think Liverpool might struggle here. Um, you know, Napoli mad up for it. They'll know that Liverpool are struggling in the league and they'll be smell blood. Uh, I'm going to go over 2-1 narrow win for Napoli, uh, that might shock you a bit, um, but yeah, I just think Liverpool might struggle in this game, especially with Napoli being notoriously good at home in the Champions League, and yeah, I fancy Napoli to win 2-1. So that's, there you go, you can see how it looks, that group, after game week one, uh, I've got Napoli at top, Rangers in second at the moment, I think that's only on sort of a better glory or something though, um, but yeah, that's how I think it'll look in, game, in Group A. Moving on swiftly then to Group B, uh, we've got Affleck at Madrid taking on Porto. Um, don't really know a great deal about how these two have started in the league, if I'll be perfectly honest. Um, you'd think Porto might struggle a bit on the road to Atletico. You know, they sort of do play a bit boring football, Atletico, but I think if you play against a side that they fancy themselves against, which I think they will in this game, You'd sort of lean towards them winning. Um, I'm going to go 2-0 Atletico in this game. I think they'll be a bit too strong for Porto. And I fancy them to get a win in this one. Next up in that group, you've got Club Bruges taking on Leverkusen. Um, Bruges, um, I think it's the second year running they've been in the group stages. Um, Leverkusen not been in there for quite a while. Um, bit of a tough one to predict, really. Um, better day. I'd say Leverkusen, I think they'll be on a high going back into the group stages. Um do think it'll be quite a tight game though. Um I think this is one of them games where it's gonna be sort of one of them where it's not looked at as a massive game, but I think it's gonna be a high scoring one. I think it's one of them where it'll shock sort of shock people. I'm gonna go three two by Leverkusen in this game. I just think um both teams are mad up for it and yeah, I think it'll be a high scoring game, but I'm going three two for Leverkusen. So Group B after that, I've got Madrid top, Leverkusen second, Bruges and Porto third and fourth. <clears throat> Moving on then to Group C, we've got a massive group this, um, it's the group of death for Pulsen. Um We've got Inter Milan taking on Bayern Munich, um, a tough game that's a predict really, um, Inter quite good at home. You know, are a strong team, but Bayern Munich, as we know, they're one of the juggernauts in Europe, really one of the stronger sides. Um, Sadio Mane now being at Bayern, um, sort of really, really started strong in the league at Bayern, um, especially Mane and Sane. <laughs> Rolls off the tongue nicely, that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I do fancy in Bayern to come out of the winning side in this one. Um, I think it'll be a pretty tight game. I'm gonna go two one for Bayern. Um, could be anything, but um, yeah, I'll go two one for Bayern Munich in the end. Um, next up, we've got Barca taking on Pulsen at home. Uh, probably, well, no game's easier, is it really, for Victoria Pulsen coming into this group? Um, yeah, Camp Nou, um, Barcelona. After all the troubles they've had, um, you know, financially and stuff, they've read. I think they've registered all of the players now. 
I think they've got just Alonso to come in, but I think he'll come in in the next couple of weeks and bolster that defence up for them. Uh, you know, Lewandowski started pretty well in the league. He's getting the goals, um, and you'd expect him to do that in the Champions League as well, as he did with Bayern in the previous years. So, yeah, I do fancy them to start strongly in the group. Um, Barca, um, I think um, I'm going to go with a 3 0 win. Um, I think Lewa will get to. And then maybe Rafinha or something like that to grab one for Barca. But yeah, I think they'll start strongly in this one. Um, not too sure if they will qualify through the group though, you know. But you'd expect them to do quite well in that game. And I think they will. So there, after great game week one, I think Barca are over top of the group. Then Bayern, Inter Milan and Victoria Pilsen. Probably where, you, where they're going to end in the bottom. <laughs> um, next up then, we've got Group D. And this is the group Tottenham are in. Um, we've got I track Frankfurt taking on Sporting Lisbon. Um, bit of a tough one to predict. Um, notoriously, you'd fancy um, a German team over a, a Portuguese team, if you like. Um, bit of a tough one, though. Um, just because I don't know a great deal about both of the sides. I'm going to go over a 1-1 draw. Um, yeah, I think... Frankfurt, quite new to the Champions League, um, did win the Europa League, of course, so maybe that holds them in good stead. Um, a lot of bit of European experience there, they'll know what they're coming up against. But yeah, just fancy a draw, really. I think Sporting quite notorious in the Champions League, so I think they'll get a good point on the opening day. Next up, then, we've got Spurs taking on Marseille at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Spurs, um, first time a couple of years that they've been in there since they got to the final, I believe. Um, they'll be looking to sort of put a good stamp on this group. It's a pretty good group for Spurs, if I'm honest. Um, I'd be shocked if they didn't get out of it and, um, and in terms of qualifying. <laughs> um, I fancy them to get off to a decent start. Um, I do think it'll be a bit of a tight one, this. Um, I think they'll get one late on, but I'm going to go 3 1. I think it'll be 2 1 for quite a while, and then they'll sort of get a late one um, to win it. To make it 3 1, should I say. Um, but yeah, if I fancy Spurs to get off to a good start in this group, and I think they'll win it, um, maybe just about. <laughs> but yeah, I think going with Spurs win on the opening week for them. So yeah, after game week one, Spurs first, Sporting, Frankfurt, and Marseille. Moving on then to Group E, we've got Chelsea's group. Um, we've got Dynamo Zagreb taking on Chelsea in, on the opening week. Um, a game you'd fancy Chelsea to come through pretty strongly, really. I know they've had the troubles in the league so far up to now, but you'd think they'd get a pretty good result here away at Zagreb. You know, they're not notorious for being in there every year, Zagreb. So, a bit of a favourable favorable start for Chelsea. Um, I'm fancying to do quite well in this game. I'm going to go 3 1 to Chelsea. I think Zagreb will get a goal. But yeah, I think Chelsea will get off to a good start in their group. Next up, you've got Salzburg taking on AC Milan. Um, AC Milan, they're doing quite well. Um, I think they won Serie A last year, and that's how they sort of got themselves into this group. Um, yeah, you'd expect them to do alright against Salzburg. They've got a a lot of good young players, Salzburg in the likes of Adiemi and things like that. Um, but you would fancy them to get off to a good start, at Milan. Um, I'm going to go 2-0 for AC. I think it'll two away wins in this group um, to kick it off. As you can see there, I've got Chelsea in top. Uh, I've got Milan and then Zagreb and then RB Salzburg, bottom of the group. Next up, we've got Group F. A uh, massive game for Celtic. Um, they opened their group with a home tie at Parkhead against Real Madrid. Uh, absolutely huge game that. Um, they'll be mad up for it in Celtic fans. They'll be absolutely loud as anything, as they always are in the Champions League nights. Um, I don't fancy them, though, unfortunately. Not against the European champions. Um, they've they've only got stronger over the season, uh, Real Madrid. They brought in some good additions, the likes of Rudiger, things like that. And yeah, I, only, I fancy them to get off to a good result, really. Uh, I'm going to go 2-0 Real Madrid. Um, probably could be more, but yeah, I think the atmosphere will be good for Celtic, but I can see Madrid sort of shutting that down early doors and getting a good result. RB Leipzig then, taking on Shakhtar Donetsk at home. Um, Leipzig for me, pretty good team. And Kunku staying at Leipzig this year. Um, I think that's massive for them to be fair I think he will be off next year with the release clause thing in his contract but um, yeah I think him staying there is massive he got a lot of goals last year I remember him scoring a hat trick at the Etihad um, so yeah I think they'll get off to a good start RB Leipzig 
fa- fancy and Kunku to put it on. Uh, I'm going to go 3 1. 3 1 Leipzig in this game. Actually, no, I won't. I'll go 3 0 Leipzig. I think they'll get off to a really good start. Um, Shakhtar usually do fairly good. Um, never really pull up any trees. So, yeah, I think they'll get off to a pretty bad start. Um, and I fancy Leipzig to flatten Shakhtar in this game. <laughs> Next up then, we've got Group G, um, Borussia Dortmund, uh, Copenhagen, it's obviously Man City's group this, um, so Dortmund, they're taking on Copenhagen at home, notoriously pretty good at home, um, Dortmund, that atmosphere, the yellow wall, as you like, um, yeah, I think it's a bit of a tough group this for Copenhagen, so I fancy Dortmund getting off to a good start, you know, they're, they're struggling, um, they've not got a, stri- a recognised striker who's... So I think it was Haller that came in, but he unfortunately got diagnosed with, I can't remember what form of cancer it was, but you know, I wish him well and I hope he recovers soon. Modesti brought in as well, um, would he be, is he really the man to sort of get them firing, especially in the Champions League? Uh, I don't think he'll get many goals, but um, I do think they'll get off to a winning start. Um, I'm going to go 2-0 for Dortmund, um, I think they'll get off to a good start in this group. It's a pretty favourable game for that, for them at home against Copenhagen. Next up then, we've got Sevilla taking on Manchester City, my team, Manchester City. Um, we're going there without Stones and Walker, you know, they both picked up Knox. Um, I think Stones actually something to do with his Covid status and he can't go because of that or something. But yeah, Sevilla, tough place to go. Um, they've got a gr- good atmosphere there down at Sevilla. Um, I fancy City though to get a good result. I think they'll be a bit angry after that Villa game in the Premier League, not getting the win there. Um, I'm going to go 3-1 for City, I think. Actually, no, I won't. I'll go 4-1. <laughs> I think Haaland's going to get himself a couple of goals. and um, Yeah, because see Alvarez starting this game and making a bit of a dent in Sevilla as well. But I do think they'll get a goal. But, um, there we go, after game week one, City top of the group, Dortmund, Copenhagen, and then Sevilla bottom of the group. Moving on then to Group H, and again, this is a pretty good group. Um, Paris Saint-Germain, um, Juventus, Ben Pica and Maccabi Haifa. And the big one opening up, uh, we've got PSG taking on Juve. Obviously, your massive front row there, Messi, Suarez, not, not Suarez, what we're about, <laughs> Messi, Mbappe and Neymar. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, you'd fancy them to do quite well in this game. You know, Juve have brought some good players in. Um, the likes of Lahavic is playing quite well for them. Uh, Di Maria, of course, came in, ex PSG player. Um, yeah, you'd fancy PSG though. Um, they started brilliantly in the league, I should expect, in that league. Um, but Neymar looks really strong from what I've seen so far, and he's been playing really well. Um, I'm going to go with a 2 0 win for PSG in the opening game. And yeah, I think there'll be a bit too much for Juve on the night. Benfica then taking on Maccabi Haifa. To be honest, I can't tell you a great deal about this game. I'm not going to pretend to go into great depth on our analysis for this one. Um, I just know that Maccabi Haifa won't be fancied in many of these games, and I think Benfica at home should get a result against them, really. I'm going to go 3 1. Um, again, I don't know a great deal about either team, to be honest. Um, Grimaldo, that's about all I know <laughs> for Benfica. And that Goncalo Ramos, I think he's still there. He's a pretty good player. Um, so, yeah, I fancy Benfica to get off to a winning start, really. Um, yeah, I think they'll do Maccabi High for 3 1. There we go, that's the updated group there. We've got Benfica top, Paris Saint Germain second, Maccabi High for, and then Juve bottom. Uh, get its early days, but yeah, I think that's how it's going to pan out. Um, I think that's how that group's going to pan out, should I say, uh, after game week one. Right then guys, there we go, that's how I think game week one in the Champions League group stages are going to pan out. Um, any shockers you think I've had there guys? Do you think there's any predictions I've made that are going to be wrong? Uh, do you fancy Juve to get something at PSG? Or do you fancy Pilsen to do Barca? Or do you think the impossible is going to happen? Um, all, as always guys, please let me know down in the comments what you think. If you have enjoyed the video, please drop a like on it, it'd mean a lot. Um, if, if you are new around here, please do drop a subscribe onto the channel. That would mean a lot to try to build them subscribers up now. Um, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Take care, and I'll see you later.